Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session. This is the physiology question. Where are the arterial baroreceptor located? So it is the direct question that the arterial baroreceptor that means the pressure sensitive receptor the location of the pressure sensitive receptor here yeah, the options options are carotid sinus and aortic arts carotid sinus only superior vena cava external carotid artery and none of the above so we have to find out the location where the arterial baroreceptor are located so let's see here we can see the baroreceptor reflex the baroreceptor it is located in the aortic arts aortic arts and carotid sinus so two important location one is the aortic arts another one is the carotid sinus aortic baroreceptor impulse travels via the vagus and from the carotid this is glossopharyngeal lump so this two important nerve we have to remember that the aortic baroreceptor they travels their signals via the vagus nerve and from the carotid sinus glossopharyngeal nerve and they are stimulated by the arterial receptor that means when blood volume increases then blood volume it stresses the arterial wall and this arterial wall when the stresses the glossopharyngeal nerve and vagus nerve then the stimulation goes to the brain even the normal blood pressure they are tonically active that means they are continuously active in all time to maintain the normal blood pressure blood volume normal heart rate also so in this picture here we can see this is the carotid sinus that means it is the common carotid artery the common carotid artery bifurcate into in the internal carotid artery and external carotid artery and at this bifurcating point here we can see this is the carotid sinus so the carotid sinus it is located at the bifurcating point of common carotid artery and another baroreceptor is located in the arts of the aorta here you can see this is the arts of the aorta and it is the aortic baroreceptor so aortic baroreceptor and carotid baroreceptor they are the response for increased blood pressure and here we can see the carotid sinus it conveys the signals via the glossopharyngeal nerve and the aortic baroreceptor it sends the signal by the vagus nerve so baroreceptor reflex increased baroreceptor discharge it causes increased parasympathetic activity that means when baroreceptor discharge increases then parasympathetic stimulation increases it goes to the SA node and decrease heart rate on the other hand decreased sympathetic discharge to the ventricular muscle causes a decrease contractility and fall in stroke volume decrease sympathetic discharge to the venous system causing increased compliance that means the increase diameter of the vein and decrease peripheral arterial vascular resistance that means in all area the activity reduce or sympathetic activity reduce and parasympathetic activity increase uh, this is a diagram showing the effect of increased blood volume so when there is blood volume increase there are different type of activity finally they reduce the blood volume and maintains the normal homeostasis of our body and in this picture also here we can see this is the aortic arts receptor and it is goes via the vagus nerve on the other hand the carotid body or <coughs> carotid sinus here this is this point is the carotid sinus and from here the stimulation goes to the by the glossopharyngeal nerve so our answer is ready that the baroreceptor they are located in the carotid sinus and outicars thank you